Let me say this, right? I've been saying this shit for a long time. World War III must happen. It must happen. It's got to happen. It's going to happen. Period. They talking about blowing the world up, y'all. Blowing up the planet that we live on. Now, I used to be saying this shit all the time. I told this shit for years because the writing been on the wall for years. I used to be saying that. Motherfuckers used to be looking at me me like I was crazy or I was a goofy or something. I'm like, y'all don't see what's going on in the world? But they was really the goofies. They was really goofy. A lot of motherfuckers, a lot of motherfuckers gonna watch this and be like, man, you don't know what he's talking about. Ain't nothing about to happen. All right. All right. You're gonna get caught with your pants down. You gonna you gonna get caught with your pants down. These people talking about World War III every day on the news. Remember when they was talking about uh the war over there in uh Ukraine every day on the news? And a lot of motherfuckers like, oh no, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. And then what happened? It happened. Things don't happen until they happen. I've been talking about this for a long time. Now they now they talk about this shit daily. They talking about Russia doing nuclear drills and all types of shit. A lot of motherfuckers don't really understand what's going on. If a nuclear bomb go off on this planet used against human beings, that's World War III. That's World War III. That's going to happen. Because if a nuclear, if one nuclear bomb go off on this planet used against human beings, somebody else got to set off a nuclear bomb used, used against them people. Then it's going to be bombs back and forth. These bombs blow up cities. They blow up cities. They blow a city up. They blowing up cities. These bombs blowing up cities. They can blow a city up with these bombs. Now, what I'm saying is this. You better you better get prepared. You better get prepared because if you're still alive, the world as, the world as we know it is going to be totally different. It's going to be totally different. If, if you're still alive, I say get you... Uh, let me turn my phone off. Somebody calling me now. I ain't going to do it. But listen, the, the world as we know it it's going to be totally different. Totally different. If you still alive, you know, you're going to need some survival shit. You're going to need some, you're going to need a way to survive. I say at least have the basics. The number one thing you're going to need some water. Have some water. We need water to survive. If they get to blowing the world up and shit like that, your phone ain't going to work. The supermarket's going to be closed. Nigga, it's going to be a run on the supermarkets. All types of shit. It's going to be bad. If you still alive, yeah, yeah, if you still alive, it's going to be fucking bad. It's going to be bad. You're going to have some water. I, in my opinion, that's the number one thing you need. I'm just saying I'm not a survivalist. I'm not a prepper or none of that shit. I can just, just, I like to be prepared for shit as best as I can. Just be prepared as best as you can. Have a plan. You got to have a plan. Just talk about it with your, with your people. With your people, hey man, if something go down, let's meet here and then we will bring the family and we gonna try to hold shit down. You know what I'm saying? Just something, you know. It, it, that ain't no long conversation. That's 20, 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? You you want to be doing that type of shit right now? These, these people on the news talking about blowing up the world and they look scared too. If you paying attention, the white folks look scared on the news talking about oh shit. Uh, well, uh, we need to de-escalate and all this type of shit. And we need to yeah. And China gonna do this and Russia trying to they testing out their nuclear bombs and all that shit. They they know what that is. If a nuclear bomb go off. Used against human beings on planet Earth. That's the end of white supremacy. That's the end of white people's reign on this on on this planet. And they know that. And they they and they know that. And they scared. And they scared. Wouldn't you be scared if you about to come out of power? Shit. That's what. And this shit must happen. This shit must happen. So you need to be prepared too. Get you some goddamn. Get some uh. Get some water. Get some food. Some. Non-perishable food, some canned goods, some I say get some rice. I went to Dollar Tree, I bought like 20 bags of rice just to have it. Some beans, 20 bags of beans, just to have it. Just it, it ain't going nowhere. I can eat it later. That's if, if it, let's say best case scenario, everything go back to normal, whatever it's gonna do. I can still eat the beans, the rice and beans. She ain't going ain't gonna spoil. At least not right now. You know what I'm saying? Eat some, yeah, eat some beans. I mean, get some beans and some non-perishable and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You want to get some weapons. Let me talk to you like this. Get some weapons. I ain't going to show my I ain't gonna show my pose. I ain't going to show my... But you want to have some guns. Get some guns. Because the niggas ain't going to have no understanding. There's going to be some desperate motherfuckers out here, and they ain't going to have no understanding. They ain't going to have no understanding. Hold on. Let me... This shit fucking up. 
Yeah, they ain't gonna have no understanding. They ain't gonna have no understanding. You're gonna have to have a way to fight. Any gun to do, anything. You wanna definitely have a gun, for sure. For sure, for sure. Or you wanna be around some guns. For sure. Some guns that's on your side, not be around some guns that's you on the wrong end of a gun. No, you wanna be around some guns. You standing behind. You wanna be standing behind some guns. For sure. Then I'm talking to you like this because I'm serious. You want to have some type of gun, period. If we still alive after the bombs go off, it's going to be a whole new world. You want to be prayed up, too. I say prayed up. Yeah, prayed up. That's why I ain't scared. Like, I know that I'm prepared as I could be. You know what I'm saying? Like, as I'm doing my best to prepare. You know what I'm saying? To be as prepared as I could be. Uh, and... uh. You know what I'm saying? I know shit. I'm prayed up. You know what I'm saying? I shit. I feel like shit. If if I do die, you know what I'm saying? And when I do die, I know I'm gonna die eventually. But uh, you know what I mean? I think shit, I'm a good candidate for for heaven. Shit, I ain't never did no crazy shit. I did some fucked up shit in my life. Some, you know what I mean? But I try not to do that no more. I'm a good person. You know what I'm saying? I try to follow the rules. I try to, you know what I'm saying? Like shit, I feel like I'm a good candidate for heaven. It's some way worse niggas than me. Way worse. I ain't did nothing crazy. I ain't never fucked nobody life up. I ain't never destroyed nobody. I ain't never, I don't walk around with no evil shit. I ain't no evil person. Anybody that, you know, you come in contact with me, I tell you, yeah, yeah, he a solid nigga. Yeah, yeah, he rock solid. Yeah, I ain't no fucked up nigga. So, like, but like shit, I'm a good candidate for heaven. Shit, let me in. Shit, I can do some th stuff in heaven. Yeah, I'm a good candidate. You know what I'm saying? I'm prayed up too. Yeah, I'm prayed up. Shit, I'm okay. I'm at peace. I'm at peace. I'm at peace with whatever. You know what I'm saying? I know I ain't no fuck them nigga. I know that shit. This shit out of my hands. If these folks want to want to want to blow the world up, shit, that's shit. That's God's will. So shit, I'm at peace with that. Uh, so yeah, I ain't gonna. That's enough rambling for me. Let me get to this video, right? Cause this shit must happen. Whether it's gonna happen sooner or later, I think it's gonna happen sooner rather than later. You know what I'm saying? So you want to be prepared. I told, I told you the best information that I got. Just main three things you want to do. I'm going to say main four things, three things. We go three things. The main thing you want to do, you want to be prayed up. Because they got the bombs. The evil motherfuckers got the bomb. And they got the power to blow all this whole planet up. They've been working on that for years to have the power to do that. They playing God. They is not God. So you want to be prayed up. You want to be at peace with your higher power. For sure, that's the most important thing. The number two thing, you want to have some food and some water. If you're still alive after the bombs go off, you don't want to be trying to scramble into where you're going to get some water at, where you're going to get a meal at. Food, water, get some dry freeze dry food, some rum noodles, all types of shit. You want to get, you want to have all that, some cup soups, whatever. Like You want to have a way to make some meals. You know what I'm saying? You want to have a way to eat. And some water till you figure out a plan and see what happened. Get your that way you ain't panicking and making a bad decision and you gonna go off and do some other shit. Cause trust me, I've been hungry before. Nigga, shit. When you hungry, you ain't thinking straight and you 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 wanna eat and you will make a bad decision. You become desperate. You become desperate. You ain't got no you ain't got no way to eat. You ain't got no water. You're gonna become desperate. You're gonna be trying to find some food and some water and you gonna shit. You gonna do some shit. You gonna do some fucked up shit, and you might make a bad move. Uh, and number three, I say shit, nigga. You wanna have some weapons? You wanna have some weapons? Some guns? Some guns? You wanna be with some guns? All right, that's it on that. Let me do this, right? Uh, let me talk about this because this shit must happen, and it look like it's about to happen soon. Cause I ain't never seen white folks scared like this. They like, oh no, they they like shit. Because they know if a nuclear bomb get used on this planet against human beings, that's the end of white supremacy. That's the end of their empire. That's the end of their reign on this planet. They don't want that. They don't want that. They don't want that. They, and white people know they got a price to pay with God. They got a debt to settle with God. They've been doing some evil shit on this planet. So, so if God is real, he know what's going on. He know what's going on. That's why I'm at peace with it. He know what's going on, and it's and it's time. It's, it's it's time. It's looking like it's time. These folks talking about blowing the world up. All right, let's do this. 
do this. Shit fucking up on me. Let me do this. Listen to the plan. They don't know what the fuck to do. They they don't know what to do because they don't want no war with Russia because they got nuclear bombs and Russia got nuclear bombs. So they I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let it play and I'm gonna explain. This guy, this Lindsey Graham, he looks scared than a motherfucker to me. And look at this guy. He he looks scared too for real. Listen to this. They ain't got no plan for real. Cause ain't no you can't plan for no nuclear war. You could try to plan, but it's this it ain't gonna be good for nobody. Months ago, yep. and they're still not there. So here's my answer to your question. If we increase the capability of the Ukrainians, not the Americans, to control Ukrainians. If we increase the the capability of the Ukrainians, not the Americans, they don't want nothing to do with this war. Nothing, because they don't want no nuclear bombs going up. They do not want no conflict with China. Notice he, he emphasized, not the Americans. We can arm them. Yeah, because what this is, right? Let me explain this real quick. They know that if a nuclear bomb go off used against human beings on this planet, again, that's the end of their empire. So they're saying not the Ukrainians. Now, I mean, not the Americans. We ain't trying. We arm them. We a fake arm them. They sending fake weapons over there. They ain't sending no real shit. They don't want to send no real shit over there because they know they 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 know Putin can take that shit real easy. They on TV faking, acting like the Ukrainians are are winning the war. They not. Shit, ain't no way they got Russia all all in their country, just walking around that bitch, taking cities and all, blowing shit up. And they 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 know they just they just waiting for they waiting for the capital city to fall, and the capital city, which is uh, Kiev, is surrounded by Russia. It's surrounded. They know they 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 know that this shit is over. That this and they and really they want it to be over as fast as possible so they can get out of this pickle they in, so because they know that this this the end of their empire, so that's why he said not the Americans arm them, but not the Americans, not the Amer not us arm them, but we ain't getting in this shit because we don't want no Russia smoke, they don't want no Russia smoke man hold on let's do this. Americans. To control Ukrainian skies. Hold on, there. So here's my answer to your question. If we increase the capability of the Ukrainians, not the Americans, to control Ukrainian skies, give them the aid they need, including food and uh, fuel, then I think they will do more than their share. I think this thing will go to stalemate pretty quickly. Oh. And over time... Now look at this. You know why the host reacted like that? When he said, hopefully this, this thing will go to a stalemate pretty quickly, right? That's the best case scenario for them. I want you to look at this host's reaction. Let's look at his reaction. When he said, hopefully it goes to it, if you arm them and give them, let them control the sky, not the Americans, it'll go to a stalemate. This ain't, ain't no stalemate. Why am I stalemate with you and I got you surrounded? I'm winning. Yeah, I'm winning. Like, ain't you, they can't do nothing. America's scared of Russia. They can't. So them little, that's little small European country can't do nothing. Can't stalemate no Russia. How you gonna stalemate them? Like, this only a matter of time before the city fall. And tonight, tomorrow, it's only this shit about to happen. Look at this. Or then their share. I think this thing will go to stalemate pretty quickly. And look at that. He said, "Oh, that's the best case scenario." You know why that's the best case scenario? For one, America don't look weak like 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 they let that country fall. They can talk it out with Russia. They want to lift it. They really want to lift the sanctions off of Russia because they sanction in Russia. They're like Russia give a fuck about a sanction, but they sanction in Russia, which is hurting America too. That's hurting America too. You know what I'm saying? They want it basically what they wanted to go back to normal. The best case scenario for that for for them would be. Everything go back to the way it was. Everything go back to normal. And, but, but, but the Ukrainians will be a neutral, Ukraine will be a neutral ground. It'll be a neutral ground. You know what I'm saying? That'll be best case scenario. That's, that's why he said stalemate. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that sounds, that sounds sexy to him. He look like he's seen a sexy bitch. Ooh, stalemate. Yeah. That's what we need. Cause they know. 
This the end of their empire. This the end of their empire. If a nuclear bomb go off on this planet used against human beings, that's it. That's all of it. That's all, folks. And we'll go to the we'll stalemate pretty quickly. Oh. And oh. And he said, ooh, ooh, yeah, ooh, that's what we look for, ooh. For time, people in Russia are going to get rid of Putin because they're going to figure out, if he is my leader, I have no future. So here's my message to people back home. Pray for the Ukraine. We're not doing enough. We need to do more. No American boots on the ground. No NATO, no fly zone. But give. Look at this. No, no, no American boots on the ground. No NATO, no fly zone. Because that would be them getting into a war, a, a nuclear war. That's World War Three. They don't want that smoke. They just want really what they really hope. They really hope that this Ukrainian president, if, if, if it can't be a stalemate and they got to talk it out with Russia, they, they really hope that. This guy just died. Hurry up and die so we can get this shit out of the way. They that's what they really want. That'll be the best second uh option. The the best second option is like this guy just get the fuck out of the way and die. Get the fuck out of our way, bro. You have done they don't want him. He they don't want nothing to do with him, really. But they can't just abandon him because he they, they make him look weak. You know what I'm saying? But they just really just hope that this guy that they hope that they kill him. That's really what they want. Like, yeah, that's really what they want. If it can't still make, just get hurry up and take the shit, Russia. Hurry the fuck up. The Ukrainians, the ability to control their skies. They're willing to fight like tigers. And if we fail and Putin wins, China will take Taiwan and the Iranians will sprint toward a nuclear weapon. And every problem you name gets worse. Now, you heard what he said. China will take Taiwan. In the Middle East, they're going to sprint towards a nuclear weapon. That's why World War III is going to happen regardless whether I like it, whether you like it. They definitely don't like that for sure because that's the end of their empire. That's the end of these two guys' empire. That's the end of their reign on this planet, these two guys. So that's so they really don't want that. They do not want that. They do not want that, but that's happening. It's going to happen. World War III going to happen. I don't see no way around it. Me personally, I ain't no expert, but... I just can't see it. But listen to what he said. I'm going to explain. I'm going to expound on what he said in a little bit. Look at this. I think I got the strategy. Arm, okay. them, arm them to a stalemate and then hope the Russians take care of Putin themselves. Right. All right. Got it. Now, what type of plan is that? Ar arm them to a stalemate and then hope that Russians kill Putin. Arm the Ukrainians to a stalemate and then hope that the Russian people kill their own president. That'll be like us killing uh, Biden. What the fuck? That that like that'll never happen. Like that like what is we talking about? Like what? Like that ain't that's the best plan they got. They scared. They flopping around like a fish out of water. They that's not a good plan. That's retarded. Yeah. And hey, and look at this. What are you gonna say right here? Just dumb shit. That's right. That's the sanctions. The way the Russians take care of Putin is we got to sanction the crap out of their economy. No exceptions. We got to go all in and strangling the Russian economy. Yep. Well, you got to get some Chinese assistance on that side, and we haven't seen yeah. that so far. All right. All right. Now, you heard what he said. He said you got to get some Chinese assistance on that side, and we haven't seen that so far. No. Lindsey Graham, he's scared. He know that that's it. Yeah, that's it. You, you know that big empire coming down. This, this white supremacist world, this shit coming down. Period. Period. It, hey, it's coming down. But he said, sanction, uh, sanction the crap out of their economy. His plan is sanction the fuck out of their economy and then the Russian people will kill Putin. See, that, that's the people's problem. They always want to throw this at everything. They want to throw this. And they use this as a weapon as well. Sanctions and shit is them using this as a weapon. This piece of paper. Right now, this is the most coveted prize in the whole world. Is this piece of paper. A dollar. An American dollar. What they don't well, what they don't what they fail to realize that people not really giving a fuck about this no more. This about to become trash. Because they about to come up with their own system. That's what they're working on. And that's what he said at the end. He said, no, he said, yeah, well, if we sanction the crap out of them, we need, we don't need China help, help on that. China and America are enemies. China is on the Russian side. China building out Russia. China probably sent Russia in there first. You know why? 
Because we all know that these people are racist. And China, uh, you know, Russians, Russians are considered white. A lot of Russians, most Russians are white. You know, even, even though they see themselves as a different type of white. So you send them in there first. They ain't going, you know, these blind here, blue eyed people. They ain't going, you know, they don't talk it out with them. And they got nuclear bombs too. So you go ahead and take Ukraine. Let me get it right. Take Ukraine. You know what I'm saying? We got your back. You know they gonna sanction you. We got your back. They homies. China and Russia is like this. Bonnie and Clyde. They they like this. They like two gangbangers. They like shit. They they in this shit together. They they homies. They brothers. Type shit. They brothers. They talk with each other heavy. They they share borders together. They've been doing business, and they got a common enemy, the West. So China ain't about to help. You know what I'm saying? China ain't about to help you destroy my friend. You already, already don't like you anyway. I deal with you because we do business together, but I don't talk to you like that. Yeah, like, you look like, nah, I'm going to come to your rescue. It's like, that's like, what type of idiot ass plan is that? Like, you know, you need China to help. China ain't thinking about them. China, they knew they've been playing this shit out. But let me, let, let me go to my little map, right? They had this shit already in the works, man. Now, when he said, did you notice what, what Nancy Brown said? He said, uh, if Ukraine, if Russia take Ukraine, right, let me go to my map, right? There's other work that there's still that's going. World War Three gotta happen. World War Three is going to happen. Period. Like, you like it or not, whether I like it or not, this gonna happen. Now, America don't. They don't really want no snow. They don't really because that's the end of the empire. Even if they let's say they win World War Three, it's still the end of white supremacy right there. Um, the world gonna be destroyed. City's gonna be blown up. Anybody that's still alive, I mean, ain't nobody gonna be giving a fuck about this system no more. That's why I say get get a gun and shit like that. Cause nobody gonna do a fuck. It's gonna be lawlessness. So let me so let me do this right. Uh, right. This is why it's gonna happen. Right. Three strikes and you out. Strike one, which might. Uh, let's take a look at the world. This is a map of the world, right? This is a map of the world. This beautiful planet God gave us. Um, this is America, right? All these people when I press the button and light up, this NATO, this America's friends, right? Now, uh, this Russia right here, this right here, just the Russian Federation, right here, this Russia, this China, this the People's Republic of China, right? Now, the problem that we have is this. Um, let me do this. Damn, I hope this is okay, cool. This is going to go to just strictly this part of the world. This is going to start World War II. One of these three things. Nancy Graham just said it too. He said, if Ukraine, I mean, if, if Russia take Ukraine, right? Uh, if, if Russia take Ukraine, right? Uh, Okay, now if Russia take take this right, they ain't really, I mean, they're like, all right, you're going to sanction Russia and all that shit, right? Hold on, let me redo that. I don't like how that look. I'm just blow this up so y'all can see this shit. Listen, follow me real quick. Oh, let me make it a little close. That's too close. I want to show y'all something. Okay. He said, if Russia take Ukraine, then China's going to take Taiwan, then there'll be a nuclear arms race in the Middle East to get a nuclear bomb so they can blow some shit up. You know, they don't give a fuck about blowing shit up. They've been blowing shit up. They don't give a, they've been at war. They countries all fucked up. They, they looking for a big nuclear bomb. They tired of flying. They've been flying rockets and missiles to each other forever. You, you, they can't wait to get their hands on a nuclear bomb. You know what I'm saying? And let's do this, right? Now, America... 
sanctions, sanctions or not, they, they, they can live with Russia taking this. They can live with it. They, they can live with that. They don't want no nuclear war. That's why they ain't getting in this shit. They can live with that. They can live with that. But what Lesley Graham said, if Russia take Ukraine, even though America can live with that, they can live with that. It, it's a fucked up blow, but they ain't kind of blow the world up about this little piece of land right here. They ain't on that shit. Because that's the end of the empire. If they set off a nuclear bomb, that's it. Now he said, China will take Taiwan. This is China right here. Let me circle it. Let me just put a little. Oh, shit, I don't want to fuck that. So you. Oh, let me do this. I'm just gonna put a line in, in, in China. No, that's not China. That is not China. This China right here. All, all this China. Let me just say I'm trying to fuck it. I'm not an artist. I'm not an artist. All this shit, China. Right? This China. China. Want to take Taiwan? That's what Andy Graham just said. This Taiwan right here, this little bitty ass island right here. Taiwan is saying that they're an independent nation. Fuck China. They independent. Now, America can't really let let China take Taiwan. Taiwan make all, all the shit made in our phones. All the, they making all the microchips for all the shit they making. They got a uh, that little bit small island is producing most of the world's microchips. Uh, all the technology, all the shit they using the technology, all the circuit boards, all that type of shit. This little bit small piece of land is producing this shit. It's producing it. They got they like the uh, the technology uh, giant of the world. So and they in front of the world when it comes to that. That's why they like we really don't want to fuck with China. You know what I'm saying? We've been over here governing ourselves on this little bitty island for a long time. We don't need China. We just want to be left alone and do our thing. We got a good thing going here without China. China saying that y'all, y'all been a part of us. Y'all is our people. Whether you like it or not, this is a part of our territory. We've been letting y'all sit over there and do your own change, but China won't leave the world. So China, like she is, we want to leave the world. We going to need y'all making those microchips and all that type of shit. We need y'all assistant. We need y'all yeah, assistant. We need our people back. And we can't do this for the Chinese people. For the people who love to go to China. That's why we're doing this. So y'all about to come back home, whether you like it or not. And we got to come over here and take that shit by force. Not America can't allow that because if they do that, China instantly the number one country in the world. Period. China instantly running the world. And, but they, but America might, I don't know, they might be able to live with that. They might be able to live with that because that's, you know, that's going to be a crushing blow. If they take Taiwan, that's a crushing blow. But they don't want to put the world up about it. I don't know if they want to put the world up about it. I don't, they might do. They might say, no, we're going to take Taiwan. Fuck it. We're all going to win anyway, so we might as well just fuck it. I don't know. I don't know. But they might not want to set a nuclear bomb up about Taiwan. But the third thing Nancy Graham said was these people right here. Hold on, let me see if I can see it. Where the fuck is Iran in? Oh, right here, right here. No, right here, yeah. Right here. Right, um, let me do this. Right, these people. Right here. So we don't go, these people. Well, well, let me do this. He says, this is the Middle East. Right? So this is basically what's considered to be the Middle East. All this shit. I don't know. Sometimes they consider the parts of Africa to be the Middle East. But this is basically it, right here, right? Uh, these guys right here, Iran, about to circle this inside of this. They working on a nuclear bomb right now. They don't give a fuck what America got to say. America been sanctioning them. They don't give a fuck. They want a nuclear bomb so they can basically, so they can, uh, they want to blow up. Hold on, let me see. They, they really want to blow up 
You definitely can't see that. My motherfucking. They can't wait to blow up. No, no, let me. I don't want to see all this shit on there. These people in Iran. Oh, let me do this. Oh, let me do this. Now, yeah, that's a lot better. Prove my point. These people right here. This Iran. Right? They can't wait to get a nuclear bomb because the first place they're going to send a nuclear bomb, they're going to send that shit right here to Israel. For sure. They, they, for sure. For sure. They can't wait to get something big to send over there to Israel. They can't wait. They get a nuclear bomb today, it'll be in, it'll be in Israel by the, end, by, the, by the end of the night. It'll be in Israel. If they get a nuclear bomb, what, what time is it? All right, I'm on 8.35 Eastern Standard Time, United States of America. If they get the bomb done by 8.40, the nuclear bomb will be in, in Israel. In Israel, the nuclear bomb will be right here in Israel. Right here in Israel. In Israel. It'll be the nuclear bomb if they make it, they get done with it at 8.35, 8.40. Let's say you get done with the nuclear bomb at 8.40. The bomb will be in Israel by 9 o'clock. As soon as they get done with it. As soon as they get done with it. And ain't nothing you can do about that unless you blow these people up. Period. That's why they so against these people getting with the uh, nuclear bomb, nuclear program, none of that shit. If you go back and look at it, Biden always say, say Iran will never have a nuclear bomb. Obama used to say Iran will never have a nuclear bomb. Uh, Trump used to say, never, not on my watch, Iran will never have a nuclear bomb. So they know that, that these guys right here, these Iranians, the Middle East, they don't give a fuck about the war and none of that. They've been in constant war. They've been in a never-ending ass war. A never-ending ass war. They've been in a never-ending war. A never-ending war. Never war. They don't give a fuck about no war. They can't wait to get a nuclear bomb because as soon as they get it, Israel's going to get it too. As soon as they get it, as soon as they get done making it, they're going to slap a bone on that bitch. Send it right to Israel. We done with it. We tell you, we done with it. Send it to Israel. Whatever come with that, that's what come with that. And they that serious. And that's why they said they would never get a look at the bomb. And America know they've been doing them wrong. And they don't been doing them wrong. We people in the Middle East wrong for a long time. So that's World War Three. It's gonna happen. If this Ukraine situation don't start World War Three. But China's going to take Taiwan, so that's going to start World War III, because America's going to be number two. So you're going to have to take a back seat. Yeah, see, we should be making all that shit in America. Yeah, there wasn't no reason why we couldn't make all that shit in America. All them microchips and all the shit that they're making in China, we should be making it here in America. The motherfuckers greedy. That's why they always want to throw money at shit. But that's 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 it. If that if they, if that don't kick off World War Three and they want to swallow their trap, which I don't think they is with the Taiwan shit. I don't think that is. They don't have to anything to blow up Iran, blow they don't have to go into Iran, blow and be goddamn fuck Iran up. But that's gonna draw everybody else in. That's gonna draw everybody else in. That's, that's drawing everybody else in. That's drawing everybody else in. If they blow up to uh, uh, um, Iran, that's drawing China. You gotta get in it. But you gotta get in it. It's over with. So they'll never let Iran get a look at the bomb. And I think Iran know that. I'm not sure if they've been giving Iran about so shit shit. And Iran still don't give a fuck. They don't say, blow us up. We build this nuclear bomb. We need to do it. We need to send that fucking Israel. Media. They're itching to do it. 
and they can get you to send that thing over there. And that's, uh, that's what we're going to say. It's going to happen. So, uh, all I can say is this, right? You don't control none of this shit. You don't got no say in this matter. No, we, we have no say in this matter. So either we gonna goddamn uh, we gonna we gonna get dead, we gonna either we gonna die in World War Three, or if you survive the world as you know it, it's gonna be over, and you gotta be prepared to go to the next world. Uh, and if I say just be prepared as you can because this is happening. This gonna happen for sure. Uh, that's pretty much it.